Give a nice warm welcome for Kevin Farrelly. right now. <laughs> um, trying to let out as most of it, as much of it as I could back there. So if I end up crapping myself on stage, we're just going to ignore it and I'm going to keep going, okay? <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> so um, uh, a couple years ago, I was in college, just starting out, you know, and I was very excited because I was, you hear all those crazy stories about things that happen to you or like things that can't happen when you're away. So I was super excited to experience like the nightlife, like go to those crazy parties and like go out clubbing and stuff like that. And um, those of you that know me know that I am quite the seasoned clubber. Trust me, <laughs> trust me. Like just the other day, my pal Vinny over there, he, uh, he calls me up and he's like, Kevin, I'm like at this party right now and like the vibes are way, way off. Like I really need someone to come over there and like kind of, you know, get the party going. So I was like, Vinny. Stop it. I will, God, you're embarrassing me, but yes, I'll be right over. And then as soon as I show up, man, everyone, everyone's going crazy again. And it's just, you can probably tell that happens just by looking at me, right? Um, however, um, should have done my research though, because I went to East Stroudsburg. Anyone hear of it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not done. I'm sorry if you have heard of it. Um, and if you have it, it's in PA. So it's as good as you could imagine it would be. Um, and unfortunately, there's only, I did my research, quick little Google search, and it said that there was like two clubs within like a 50 mile radius of the campus. So I was like, great. All my college dreams shattered in like a matter of two seconds. I could have searched that before I signed up, but no. And um, so I was getting desperate, and I mean like really desperate. So I was actually thinking of joining Sam's Club. <laughs> you guys actually heard of that? <laughs> wow. All right, yeah, he's like, his name's Sam. He's got that club. <laughs> he's uh, thinking of joining, but you know, that guy's kind of a buzzkill. Uh, where do you guys go? Costco? Costco. BJ's, anyone? Woo. Got a fan of BJ's in the crowd somewhere? Woo. All right, hey, a couple of freaks over here. I love to see you guys. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I joined the rock climbing club, right? I mean, still a club. So, um, and apparently there's nothing better to do in PA than roll around in the dirt with some strangers and climb some boulders. So, uh, there's that. <laughs> and, um, you know, coincidentally, I was, you know, just on the internet, and I found, I came across this article, wasn't searching for it, it was called the top 10 sexiest sports that a man can do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys all sound as, just as excited as me. So I will, if you want the link afterwards, I will send it to you. <laughs> um, eloquently written material. Beautiful work that I just stared at for probably hours, if I'm being honest. And yeah, it might only be 10 pages long and 95% of it's pictures of gorgeous men. Um, but hey. We all have our thing. <laughs> anyway, it's my first day uh, at the new local gym. I finally joined climbing, very exciting stuff. And me and my friend Alexis, uh, we're climbing, whatever climbers do, just hanging out, you know. And one of the workers actually comes up to us as we're climbing. And I want everyone to keep in mind that at this point in my life, I have climbed for approximately two hours. Okay, just keep that in mind, two hours. And he comes up to us. His name's Eric. And Eric, you know, he's, he's got like longer hair. He's nice, kind of toned, a little bit of an odor. But <laughs> he's like, hey guys, I like really didn't want to have to do this. Um, but I have a birthday party coming in in about 10 minutes. 40 kids. And none of my workers showed up. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, what does this have to do with us? <laughs> and he's like, can you guys please work this birthday party with me? Um, like, I need you guys to, like, belay the party. And he starts doing, or at first I'm like, belay? <laughs> I've, I've never even heard that word before. And he wants me to do that at a party. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, belay. And he starts doing this motion with his hands. This is the universal sign for belay. Like this. 
And I'm like, what on earth does he want me to do with this party? And I'm like, Eric, use your freaking words. Say something. And he was like, oh my god, like I just want you to hold the ropes, you know, so the kids don't fall. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, um, I've never done that. Uh, he was like, it's super easy, I'll show you. So he brings us over to the ropes. Imagine there's ropes here, right? <laughs> and he's like, okay, now grab the ropes. Okay, I grab the ropes. And he's like, great, you're doing it. Yeah, see, no problem. And he's like, any questions? And I'm like, I have a few. I have a few questions, yes. And, <laughs> and he's just like, he could see that we're kind of a little nervous about like, saying yes, so he tries to like sweeten the deal a little bit. He's like, I'll give you a free month membership if you do this. And I'm like, at that point, I'm a little offended because he thinks I'm willing to put 40 kids' lives on the line for a free month membership. And I say this to him, and he's kind of just like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> How's three sound? So we're belaying the party, right? And um, things are going smoothly. It's me, Alexis, and 40 screaming six-year-olds. Um, it's as well as you could imagine, and it's a good thing I had my soothing Earl Grey that morning to calm the nerves. Also, I was on a lot of drugs, <laughs> and everything's going, everything's going smoothly, except what was really annoying is that parents would come up to me occasionally and like start making small talk. I remember one of them was just like, oh, I bet all these kids running around is like natural birth control, isn't it? And I'm like, yes, it is. I am never having kids stand because of your child right now. Um, another really popular one was stu uh, the parents would come up to me and be like, oh, you know, that's a really cool job, what you're doing right now. How long have you been belaying? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm... Always belaying. I'm belaying every day uh, for years. I can't even remember when I wasn't. Uh, belaying all day, every day, you know? And I like see Alexis out of the corner of my eye, and she's like, Oh, what? All day, every day. What does that mean? And I'm like, Okay, maybe I'm taking it like a little too far. Um, so, anyway, party's going. And I guess the kid that I have on my wall is like the, like the birthday boy. His name is Timmy. So Timmy's climbing up the wall, and at this particular point, um, I'm starting to attract a crowd because, you know, little Timmy, birthday boy. And everyone is like, yeah, Timmy, you got this, you're so close. And I'm kind of like, yeah, woo, this is great, you're doing well. Um, and meanwhile, I'm just standing there trying not to piss my jorts. Like, <laughs> this kid is like 30 feet up. And meanwhile, like, jorts, huh? Pretty, uh, pretty, let's talk about George for a second. Uh, pretty good fashion sense, especially in PA. Yeah. Um, so anyway, party's going. Timmy's on the wall having a great time, just like we are. And I turn to the side, and this, this parent's distracting me. So at this particular point, I'm not looking. Very good worker. And I hear the most horrific crashing sound in my entire life. And all I'm thinking is like, oh my dear God. <laughs> Please don't be little Timmy. <laughs> Please don't be little Timmy that is on the ground right now. So I look up, and you know, he's there, so you can all relax. He's there, he's fine, he's on the wall. But I'm looking at him, and I'm like, something is different about this boy, but I don't know what it is yet. So then I look down, and then I'm like, oh, that's weird. And it's like these two, but these two beige plastic tubes with shoes at the end of them. And I'm like, Oh, I've never seen that before. That's oh. odd. And then I'm like, holy crap, those are legs. <laughs> those are legs. And I look up, and there's no legs. And I'm like, those are Timmy's legs. <laughs> On the ground, I'm freaking out. Meanwhile, this kid is like, I look up, it's just a tiny little torso and shorts just flapping in the breeze right now. And God bless his soul, he's still climbing. <laughs> Little Timmy's still going, like he's climbing like his life depends on it. And it does. It really, really does at that point. And um, so I'm like looking around, screaming internally. The room is silent. No one is saying anything. He doesn't even, he's not even face. He's still going. But I'm looking around and I see Alexis. And I'm like, do something. Do anything. And this is what she does. I actually cannot see the stand. It's very bright. <laughs> Put that down. I'm not even going to put it down. <laughs> she just starts clapping. 
<laughs> nice slow clap at first. Nice slow clap at first. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. And um, all of a sudden, picks up the pace, and then everyone's roaring for Timmy. Like, woo, you got this. You're almost there. You got it. And meanwhile, I just start pulling him up. He's half the weight now, so I'm like, I can just get him going. Um, he finally gets to the top. He thinks he did it all by himself. We'll never tell him that I did it. Um, so he gets to the top. We let him back down. It was very emotional. We all had a moment at the bottom. He puts his legs on, and the party just continues like nothing ever happened. And so we're about packing up. The party's over. And it was probably the worst hour of my entire life. <laughs> and I'm about to leave. And me and Alexis are heading out the door, and Eric stops us. And he's like, you, you guys did incredible. Like, you, wow, probably like the best belayers we've ever had in the, in the entire gym. Hey, if you guys want a job, you can work here, you know, if you want. And I thought for a second, and then I was like, absolutely not. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you.